The communication tools needed to run a successful business keeps changing. At KKP Halifax, we're expanding our capabilities to keep pace. We deliver consistent high quality while meeting promised deadlines. KKP Halifax, a division of the Quick Copy Group of Companies. John Moore with St. Mary's Huskies. Nick Welsh, uh, back from, uh, well, the rookie tournament, Nick, uh, with the Sabres. Uh, from what I understand, uh, pretty pleased with your performance there. Yeah, I was really pleased with how I performed at the camp. Uh, obviously, I wasn't really sure what to expect going in, but uh, there were, I, knew, I knew some other guys on the other team, so there were a lot of guys I'd played against before previously. So, uh, no, just, just going there and performing at a high level and, and knowing that I can, I can play at that level is, uh, is really good to know coming back here. I realize you had a couple of goals in that that final what ten to win over the Penguins, but other than other than that game, tell me a little bit about some of the specifically the things that you're able to do that that give you confidence moving forward. Uh, just controlling the puck, you know. Uh, obviously, everything goes at a faster speed at that at that level, but uh, no, just being uh, poised with the puck and uh, not rushing plays and trying to force things, you know, taking my time and just sticking to my game, you know, what I do best and. Uh, just being able to do that at that level was uh, really cool. What did they tell you as you as you left? Uh, they just told me they were really impressed with how I played. Obviously, they didn't know a ton about me going in. Um, so yeah, they just told me like we were we were really impressed with how you performed this week, uh, how you were able to join the rush every once in a while and and uh, produce offensively. It was really cool, and uh, they said they'd be keeping their eye on me this year. So. Getting ready for your first season in the AUS with the St. Mary's Huskies. Uh, tell me a little bit uh, what what type of transition it'll be, how long it might be, and, and how, how difficult. Uh, it's going to be very difficult, I think. Obviously, it's a, it's a much bigger, faster league than uh, than junior is. Um, playing against men, they're all, all older than I am or the same age. and uh, So, yeah, it's definitely going to be a transition, but I'm looking forward to it, and it should be a good challenge. What kind of role do you hope to play with the Huskies? Uh same in junior. Um, you know, I, I like to do a bit of everything. Uh, Two-way D-man, I like to jump up in the rush, produce offensively as much as I can, uh, play on the power play, and, uh, you know, obviously take care of my own end as well. So, yeah, I'm looking to do that. Obviously, long-term, you'd like to play pro. That's where you'd like to go. How do you approach this season to season? Uh, just the same way as others, you know, just uh, really training hard all summer, uh, getting ready for, for the season here, which starts soon. Um, obviously, pro is the end goal, but, you know, this is a really good league, and uh, I'm looking forward to this year. And finally, why was St. Mary's the choice in the AUF? Uh, d definitely a few different factors. Uh, obviously, I know the coaching staff really well with uh, Tyler Nogler and Trevor Steinberg. I've known them growing up my whole life, and uh, being able to play uh, at home for the next few years will definitely, definitely play a part in my decision, and uh, that's going to be nice. Well, we've had our, our eye on Nick forever. I mean, he's a fast, puck-moving, smart defenseman and right-handed. I mean, there's a he checks all the boxes for us. So, you know, we're not surprised he went to Buffalo's rookie camp and did well. I mean, at some point, people can't ignore the fact that a kid can skate, you know, makes good decisions, you know, good composure and makes, uh, makes heads-up plays. What's the type of player that you'd like him to become in, in your lineup this season? He's a guy that we just have to give him the time, give him the confidence to do what he wants. He's going to make mistakes. This league's a, a, a fast league. It's an aggressive league. Uh, a guy like Nick just has to be able to make mistakes. He's, he's, he's a guy that we see as being able to contribute right away. Um, and if he's able to, to, to go out and use his mind and creativity and so forth, I think he's going to get better every year and he's going to really enjoy it, and we're going to, <laughs> which would make we'll enjoy it. With time, do you believe Nick Walsh is perhaps going to have a, that, that pro opportunity? Nick will play pro after he's done university or at some point in his life if he wants to. At what level will depend on how he develops, but he's trending right now. I think you saw the draft this year. 5'10 defensemen that can skate and make good decisions. Nobody's afraid of those guys anymore. You know, they, they're, they're starting to, to like them. They're starting to see the benefits of that. So, uh, yeah, he, he will play pro at some point. And, we're here to help him develop and he's here to help us get better but at the end of the day we want him to be able to play pro yes